and welcome to my YouTube video. My name's Amy. I'm a UK Stampin' Up! demonstrator and this is my delivery of an order I've received today showing with some of the new spring summer items in it as well as some of the celebration freebies that you get at the moment for every £45 that you spend in the catalogue. Um, so now's a great time to order. Um, there's also some annual catalogue goodies in here as well that I haven't yet received or yet bought um, so I'm gonna open up the box and take a look and see what I ordered because I really can't remember right. I really should have got my old scissors out to do this but never mind they will be okay so the good thing with stamping up is they always package it really really well so we've got lots of packaging which the kids will have fun playing with later and um, let's take a look and see what we've got um, so these are the urban underground embellishments these are from the spring summer catalogue um, and the whole suite is actually really good for men's cards which I do struggle with making so I've got a few items in here from that set um, let's take a look. Uh, that's a celebration freebie. I will put that to one side and go through those in a minute. What's on here? That is some stylish stems framelit dies. I cannot remember which set this goes with. I think it is. It's from the spring summer catalogue. Uh, yeah. So when I was lucky enough to go to on stage, so I don't know if you caught that on the, there we go, um, when I was lucky enough to go to on stage in November and see a lot of the new items being um, shown for the very first time, um, we got given a stamp set and actually it's here on my shelf behind me, let me grab it, um, called Special Reason and that's just there and we got given the stamp set as part of our um, goodie bag for the day. Um, so I've just bought the dies to actually match and coordinate with that um, and hopefully that will make some very nice cards for me to be able to send to family and friends. All right, let's have a look else. So this is the Petal Burst Texture Embossing Folder so that will make some good embossing for backgrounds and for cards and can be inked as well. So that's cool. Uh, that's another celebration, so I'm going to come back to all of the celebration at the end. Um, cottage Greetings, I really like the font in this one. This one's from the annual catalogue, but I haven't yet bought it. Um, the annual catalogue still runs until the 31st of May as well. So that'll be good for some different fonts on the fronts of cards. Um, so this one also is from the annual catalogue. Um, it's called Blooms and Wishes. It comes with um, some designer series paper that also matches as well which I do already have um, I just missed the stamp set before so I've got that one what else is in here ah floral phrases um, I've got this and I've also ordered the dies I'm pretty sure as well um, again this is annual catalogue I didn't realise quite how much from the annual catalogue I didn't already have and yet still wanted to play with so um, I've ordered myself quite a bit of stuff this time but um there's that one it's got some nice sentiments in here so it's for all the thoughtful things you do may your love grow stronger deeper and more beautiful with every passing year um, wedding wishes as well which I don't think I've got another set at the moment that will do weddings for myself there are lots in the catalogue um, I don't have all of the sets though unfortunately but that's that one um, uh, this is another embossing folder so this is the hexagons the dynamic hexagons um, and this also goes with the Urban Underground suite, which the original embellishments that I showed you, the first things that I pulled out, and that is from the new Spring Summer. Um, oh, so this is from the Spring Summer as well. So this is one stamp set, and you get it in two boxes. This is called Beautiful You. Um, I've seen lots of cards made with this already on Pinterest. Um, Pinterest is a fantastic place to get some inspiration um, and I didn't think I liked this set until I'd seen quite so many cards that would already been made with it um, so I thought I would get that one 
And that's really nice. Um, what else do we have in here? So these are the detailed floral thin lip dies. And this is the ones that also go with the same suite of the floral phrases stamp set. Um, if I open this up to show you. These actually cut the design into the card. I don't know if you can see that there very clearly. Um, and then they come with a separate cutting edge that um, will then... So this edge here won't actually cut out of your card. Um, but then this edge here you can put on to make the clean cut on the edge. Um, so I'm going to have fun playing with those, making some different cards. Um, what else do we have? Lots of things in here. Um, this is the Build It Frame Look Dies. So um, also at the on-stage event in November, I was lucky enough to win this stamp set from the spring summer, which is called Nailed It, which for my dad is pretty perfect, actually. Um, he is very much a handyman, um, and it's his birthday later on this month. So to go with those, I thought the dies that match and that is fantastic with stamping up. They do so many of the dies to make it super easy. So there's no fussy cutting um, unless you want to. But these ones will then cut out all of the stamp shapes, so or most of them. So you've got the hexagon that fits around the Happy Father's Day sentiment. Um, and then the hammer, the saw, the spanner, the screwdriver. Um, to keep things nice and neat, nice and simple. So that'll be great to go with that. What else do we have in here? Oh, been looking forward to these. Um, we got to see these on the display board on stage. Um, watercolour pencils. Um, they come in 10 different colours, is it? Nope, 13 different colours, even better than I thought. Um, and they just look amazing. Um, again, if you check out Pinterest, um, and I think they're really affordable. I think they were $14.50 um, for a set of really good quality watercolour pencils and ones that will match the existing colour ranges in um, Stamping Up Ink as well. So perfect, easy coordination, which is what I like. What else do we have? So, Love Sparkles. This is from the Spring Summer and I just really like the simpleness and the easy feature that these ones will hopefully help me make on cards so there's some good um, good words in there um, what else do we have we have tie dyed um, this stamp set to start with I was like oh my god I'm never going to use it but actually the more I looked at it the more I thought they're going to make some fantastic backgrounds um, some great features onto cards and things so um, they're designed so that you could put them on a t-shirt shape and that they would make the, you can stamp these different steps in different colours and they'd make the sort of 80s, 90s tie-dyed effect. Um, I may use them in that way, but I may also find other ways. And that's the great thing with stamping up. They give you lots of versatile stamps. Still more in here, which is fantastic. Um, that's a celebration set, so I will come back to that. Oh, Project Life. So, um, I don't, haven't done a lot of Project Life. Um, but it's scrapbooking for with ease with lots of pockets and this is going to allow me to put my dates very neatly on there because I don't always like my handwriting um, so I'll be able to date lots of different things and possibly make some calendars as well later in the year so that's cool um, oh another embossing folder I found I have not used embossing folders enough so um, I've got the woodland textured embossing folder again Pinterest has made me buy that one because I've seen lots of people use that on there. Now there's some boxes in here. Ah, I know what those are, so I will come back to that as a celebration one as well. Um, and then I've not got enough ribbons either, I found, or twine. So I've gone for quite a few different ribbons with this order. Um, what have we got in here? We have got the Stitch Ribbon in Melon Mambo, which is a fantastic colour. This light doesn't look like it's doing it justice, but it's very bright pink. Uh, we've got the Baker's Twine in Elegant Eggplant and again in Night of Navy. Now I love the dark blues and purples that Stamping Up do. Um, so they're some of my favourite colour. This is the Roost Ribbon. That's in Dapper Denim, oh sorry, not Dapper Denim, Emerald Envy. 
Um, I already do have the Dapper Demon version. And I've also now bought it in the Flirty Flamingo as well. That looks quite orange. Sorry about my light, but it's not. It is very pink in real life. Uh, at celebration, so I'm going to go back to that. Um, this is some washi tape, which is um, quite handy actually, um, and that goes with the um, that matches the urban underground. So I've got some of that. What else do we have? <gasps> Wink of Stella. Um, I needed a new one. I use Wink of Stella on quite a lot of things. If you've not heard of it, you must try it. Um, get yourself one. This is the clear one, and that's what I find I use the most. We do it in a clear and we do it in a gold. Um, I grab mine very quickly out of my drawer. Um, this is the pen once it's all set up and ready to go. Um, and it's just got a brush end. And if I can just brush it on my skin there. I don't know if it will pick it up. But it should have made my skin very, very sparkly. And that's what it can... Oh, look how wrinkly my hands are. Um, it, sh it makes anything sparkle. It's amazing stuff. Um, yeah, brilliant. So I've got a new one of those to play with. So everything sparkles. A um, couple more things. Oh, Stampin' Dimensionals. Because they have to go on every order. They are amazing. To give some definite depth to your cards. And blender pens. So with the watercolour pencils I showed you earlier... The, they can be used with water, as the name suggests, or you can use blender pens as well. Um, so I've only ever used these once, um, and that's when I borrowed one. Um, but they do just blend and smooth out the um, pencil strokes in your watercolour pencils. So I've got some of those to play with. Ah, and these as well I added to my order. These are look very boring. These are foam adhesive strips, but they are great for making shaker cards. Um, they give you just the right amount of height at the side here, so the right depth to be able to create the perfect shake on a card without the confetti inside or whatever it is you put inside actually getting stuck. Um, I made it a card at the weekend actually using some. So this is one of the cards I've made recently. And if we have a look inside, I don't know if I can get that quite to fall. It's um, got lots of confetti inside it, and using the strips there along the edge, it means that the depth is enough that um, that confetti moves all around in it. So, what else do we have? Nearly at, oh, not, not quite at the end. Um, oh, sponge brayers. So, these are great for creating a... Um, they look very boring as well, but they're not. They're great for using to roll on a layer of ink across the background of a card um, and creating it and being able to build up that colour without, um, without making it quite splodgy. So I've got some more of those and the sponges can actually be washed. So I don't think you've got to get a whole new set as much as it is nice to get as many as you can. Um, oh, that's a pack of grid paper. So um, if you're looking at um, many demo videos and things, quite often see that they are on set out on some grid paper below that's stamping up version. And that's what I've bought there. Um, that goes on my desk and makes it a lot easier to clean, clean and tidy. <gasps> and then shiny. So this is the gold foil sheets. If I wanted some of those. And in here as well should be some copper. Oh, we'll come across it in a minute, I am sure. Oh, the copper foil sheets are in here. They have put cardboard on both sides, so I can't quite... Where's the opening? Let me see. been waiting for these to play with. I don't know why I've not ordered them before, to be honest. Um, I think I was trying to hold off, thinking, oh, no, I won't use them. But I do love... Oh, it's the wrong side. Look at this. Look at that shining on there. Um, so that will just add the perfect embellishment, whether you die cut it or use it as a mat and a layer underneath. Um, but yeah, some perfect gold and copper foil sheets there. Um, and then we have got some designer series paper, or DSP as we all call it. Um, this is the Floral Boutiques. Um, I think, yeah, Floral Boutiques designer series paper. Um, 
So that has been designed to match with the stamp set and the dies that I showed you earlier, um, but can be used completely on its own as well. It's quite a lot of nice um, designs within that one that I'm hoping to use. We've not really used navy all that much, so um, I'm looking forward to that. And this is the um, the new one from the spring summer. This is the Urban Underground um, design series paper. So that front sheet there looks quite boring, but actually for masculine cards, that's going to be a great textured um, background. And if I will open up this one really quickly, because there are some good designs in this. I've seen them in the catalogue. Um, and they are double-sided as well, <coughs> excuse me. Um, and that one's foiled, so you've got the foiled hexagons. Um, they've used this colour, I'm pretty sure it's delightful, Dijon. Uh, yeah, so on the labels, on the packets, they quite often tell you what coordinating colours they've used, which makes it super easy and excellent for me. Um, I'm not great at pairing up colours all the time. Um, and as much as I wouldn't necessarily have chosen this colour, I think it actually really works with the greys. And especially in a pattern like this one here, I think that's great. And the spots. Um, so I'm, I've only bought one pack at the moment, but I can imagine myself actually getting some more of that one to help me make some more men's cards. Um, so this is the Falling in Love designer series paper. And this is from the new um, spring summer catalogue. Um, Oh, it's going to be a bit more tricky to open, so I'm not going to worry about doing that one now. Um, but take a look at it online. Um, all of the designer series paper, I do love the way that they coordinate with each other. That's the only one I've got from the Falling in Love suite. Um, but it, that, that will be temporary, because I'm pretty sure I'll be getting some more of it soon. Um, and then this is just a set of cardstock. So in here we've got the... Let me do, oh, doesn't tell me. I think that is... I don't know. It's a dark grey of some kind. Um, the delightful Dijon and very vanilla cardstock there. Um, and those all are matching the designer series paper in the Urban Underground. So you can get the cardstock from Stamping Up in um, single packs of their own. Um, you can get them in the colour families. So the Brights colours, the Regals, the Subtles um, and other ones. Um, and they do certain ones that will then better match in with um, some of their suites, um, which are their sets. Um, and that one there is the one that matches the Urban Underground. So it looks like that's the end of the box. But as I said, I was going to come back to the, um, the freebies that I got. So I was actually lucky enough to earn seven, I really shouldn't admit to that, seven celebration freebie sets um you get one for every 45 pounds you spend um and there is a mini catalog which um you can get a pdf version of on the stamping up website um if you go to my facebook page amy loves craft and click shop now that will take you through um or if you message me um i'm on pinterest as amy loves craft and on facebook as well so please feel free to message me um, I actually got three of this one out of my seven I chose to get three of this and it's called the gold card tin and I just loved the way it looks it's going to be perfect to keep and store the cards that I make until I actually get a chance to give them um, and inside although it's got a bit of cardboard in there at the moment by the looks of it there we go it comes with dividers which you can then write on um, to keep your cards separated so you can have thank you and you can have birthday you can put whatever you like on them um and i actually got three i may use them even as gifts as well maybe do some that i can give away um so that's just i got like i said i got three of those and then i've got four other ones as well um so there's lots to choose from in the celebration catalog um one of the things i've got is this duo pack of ribbon um and there's a gold and a silver ribbon in there um, and they are called the three eighths of an inch metallic metallic if I can put my teeth in metallic ribbon combo pack. So, like I said before, I've ordered lots of ribbon on this order anyway because I need to use more of it. Um, this one is called Any Occasion, 
and it really is perfect for any occasion. You've got, it's a girl, it's a boy, thank you, happy birthday, congratulations. You can read it. It has got everything on there. And there's lots of 20 stamps in there. So even these little ones, you can pair up and use for whichever you like. Um, apparently I chose two of those. Um, and then I have also got Avant Garde, which is this beautiful flower set. Um, again, I've seen lots on Pinterest already with this one. I think this one's going to be a really popular set. Um, at the moment, they have got quite a lot um I think there's about 12 sets to choose from in the celebration catalog to get free um this one's got 10 stamps in there um the reason i got three tin sets um rather than just the choosing different items sorry if you can hear me clattering about i am just gonna get the ones that i got from my pre-order because as i said i was lucky enough to go to the on stage event this year um, which meant we were able to put in an order before the customers this year so we can start making some um, samples for all of you to see um, and with that order because I was naughty and yet again spent quite a bit of money um, but it's on things that I love so that's fine and these are the celebration ones I'll just fly through these that I can that you can also get like I said you can see them in the catalogue but there's tasty trucks so some good sentiments in there as well as pictures. Um, this is called Designer Tea. So it's designed to go um, as if they are ones that you can put on front of a t-shirt. Um, and there is a t-shirt set in the spring summer catalogue. This one is Hey Chick. Um, I didn't love it to start with. And yet I've seen lots of people make lots and lots of lovely cards with it. So I will be having a go with that. And you can get these free sets in both wood sets all clear mount um, some of them are photopolymer only um, this one here delicate details lovely borders within there very very handy to have and the last one I have to show you today is called so very much and that's got very big thank you um, nice to make it a feature on the card um, and then you can add for the gift so very much from all of us or for your kindness so that is my bag of goodies or my box of goodies I am now going to have fun putting them away um, and then getting to play with them. Um, I hope you liked my first video. Apologies it was quite this long. I was hoping it was going to be quite short, but I um, hope you liked it anyway. Um, and please feel free to comment and pop by to my Facebook or my Pinterest board to have a look at what I've made before. Thanks.